Happy Friday to all you tactical moms and dads out there and non-parents. Welcome back to the episode of the Tactical Everyday Dad. So this weekend is River's Edge Cutlery's knife meetup at their store in Hollard. I'm saying that wrong. Um, Ohio. It's near the Columbus area. And if you guys are around that area tomorrow, August 7th, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., there's going to be the Rivers Edge Cutlery Knife Meetup. I will be there, and I'll have some channel swag handing out as well. And I'll have a couple of my knives from my collection there to showcase. And I believe there's going to be five or six other YouTubers there, maybe even more. I am not too sure about... A couple guys have mentioned they're going to be there. Um, a couple of my friends have told me they've talked to a couple of guys, and... They're coming out. I don't know exactly who. I don't know who's confirmed. I don't know who's for sure. That's why I won't mention any names, but I will be there for sure. But come join us. We're all going to be there chilling, talking about knives, geeking out, you know, the usual <laughs> stuff at knife events for just like um, you guys have experienced before. So we've known about this event since uh, probably early July or end of June. Um, they talked about it at Blade Show, but with everything going on, they weren't too sure it was going to happen, but ends up they're going to do it. So it's going to be August 7th again, tomorrow in Hollard, close to Columbus, Ohio area at their location, River's Edge Cutlery. Um, so I needed a way to transport my knives. I don't have any knife specific cases besides my little um, tool roll that I have that fits like six knives which um, that's not enough. I need to bring more than that. <laughs> so I have a lot of Pelican cases, but I don't have any cases designated for knives. They're all for my firearms or camera gear or um, protective cases for like valuables that I use to transport and stuff like that. So I went searching online and, you know, Instagram and Facebook, and I came across um, a couple options. You know, you know, everybody knows now pack or uh Nanook or whatever it's pretty much Canadian version of Pelican cases and they make their own interior foams customized whatever you want so both of those brands had knife specific or EDC specific foam inserts that you can purchase and they fit said number of uh, knives or you can get ones that are knife and watch cases or knife watch and handgun cases you name it there's different variations but they're all cut to an excess amount of um, spacing. So I wasn't too sure if I like that. I'm OCD and I don't want space that's wasted just sitting there. That's stupid. So I found a gentleman, his name is Jeff. He's based out of Wisconsin. His company is called Slice Cutting and Engraving. So the name is Slice and then he does cutting and engraving. He's on Facebook and Instagram and how you order right now is all you have to do is private message him and kind of give him a little measurement or rundown of the case you have. He only does foams right now. He doesn't do the foam in the case. So if you have any case you want, which in my situation, I had like 20 different cases I can choose from. And then all you do is come up with the dimensions and how you want to lay it out, how many levels, if it fits, that is, how many slots, which way the slots want to go, and then you know he'll do it for you. And also he did a awesome laser engraving of the top layer foam for me too, to, uh, it has my logo on it. Let me show you real quick. So this is the case um, that I wanted to get foam for. It is a Pelican Storm M2100 or MI2100. And the foam I'm about to show you is the first attempt. There was an issue during transportation with the glue. I got a little bit too ambitious with how many slats I wanted. And I believe, personally, I believe... Um, the thin walls between each knife cause a lack of surface area for the glue to adhere to. So in the updated one that I'm going to unbox for you that he sent me, he is awesome, by the way. If there is any issues, he will gladly fix it for you. Um, no questions asked. Just tell him what happened. If it's, you know, um, a legitimate thing, he, of course, has to be legitimate. He will fix it for you. So the first one was sent um, during transportation. I guess the heat got way too high. Like I opened the box, I even felt heat come out and the foam was coming apart where it was adhered. So 
Let me just show you what the first try looked like. There. So these are outstanding quality. As you see, there's a lot of slots there and it's pretty thin here and here as well. And then the glue is coming out here. Um, I got the stick back on, but it's not secured. Like I can pull it apart. But again, it's not just fault. It is the glue itself. It got very hot and, and it melted. So he was gracious enough to redo it for me. And again, I will unbox that. And here's the top foam. Ted logo with the American flag behind it. Sweet, isn't it? All right, guys. So that was a very, very long opener. So let's get to... Uh, the cool part of Sophie unboxing. So I want to start off by saying I apologize. This is take two. Um, I had cut this open and started sneezing like seven times in a row. So I had to redo this. And also the dogs were barking outside again. And again, my neighbors all decided to like simultaneously cut their grass. I swear people around here cut their grass like every other day, which makes no sense to me. I cut my grass maybe once a week and it's fine. It's not like, I guess these people want to like fine tune their green grass. But hey, we're two weeks, away, sorry, two months away from fall. So I don't know what the whole, I don't know. People are just obsessed with grass. <laughs> we'll get back to the case now. So this is the updated foam that Jeff was awesome enough to send out. Again, just to reiterate, the first foam that he sent out um, was amazing. Uh, the top section of the case with the TED logo with the American flag laser edged into the foam was awesome. And I'll show you that once again. And he made the foam to my specific specs that I wanted. Um, however, we found out that with the heat during transportation, the glue didn't hold. And we both came to the conclusion that the thin spacing between each of the slots was probably also a culprit of that because it didn't allow enough surface area for the glue to hold. And I'll show you again what I'm talking about, but it's still amazing either way. But this is the updated one that he sent in. I just got it today. So let's check it out again. I apologize. This is take two because I was sneezing so much from my allergies that I had to redo it. There was no point for you guys to hear me sneezing 20 times. So, all right, let's pop it open. That's funny. So again, guys, he is called Sliced Cutting and Engraving. And you can find him on Facebook and Instagram. All you have to do is um, private message him and kind of just chat with him and let him, let him know what you want. Again, I just told him the case that I have and the specs I wanted for the slots and what knives I want to fit. And then he kind of just did a mock-up on his computer and then sent it to me to approve and then I approved it. And then he went ahead and produced the foams for the case that I had, which again is the Pelican Storm MI2100. Comes very, very well packed. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Let's get these out real quick. Get this box out of the way. So yeah. Originally, I had two sections, all the same cutouts. It was 12 vertical with six across, which I mistakenly made too shallow. So I have a lot of knives that are a little bit thicker than an inch, which stuck out. I have a lot of OTFs, which the slots are perfect for. However, those are the knives I have that are not OTFs and those slots were not perfect. So I had redone the top and since we had a, a second go with this, just to lay these down so I can fit eight knives. These are five by one and a half. And then I asked him to include these little spacers in case I wanted to put my exo sets in here for Microtech, which I'm gonna take this weekend to the uh, River's Edge Cutlery Knife Meetup because they just fit perfectly in there. I hate stuff moving around. Like even though it's foam and protected, I still don't want it to like slide as I transport. He's awesome and puts this hard plastic on the top layers with this nylon strap. So once you put it in the case and I'll show you, it's easy for you to kind of like lift out. The second one, again, we condense it down from 12 to nine. 
just to give it more space for the glue to hold. And then again, the same thing on the top from six to four. And then I shorten them because I believe this is going to fit all my OTFs on the bottom here. Um, I might have like one or two spots open that I might put something else, but we'll see. So let me put these aside real quick and let me open the case. Got the TED stickers on there. Boom, boom. And let me show you the top layer again here. It's pretty sweet. Look at that. Ted logo with the American flag on the back there. Laser etched in. Put that back on top. Uh, let me take this out. I just stuck this in there just because the original bottom one didn't fit too well. Um, and I didn't want it to ruin. I'm going to try and glue it and salvage it. Um, same as this one. So, as you see, that's the original. This is the new one. Again, it's my fault for wanting it so thin as you see how thick it is now this is so sturdy compared to this guy <coughs> and again <coughs> my fault in that one um but again jeff was awesome enough to redo it for me and now the glue sticks very well so let's move this out of the way let's open it this way so he also did this cool thing where there's like a little lip because you know how when the case is on the bottom, it kind of tapers down a little bit. So this fits perfectly in there like a glove. Top layer. Awesome. So I see again the nylon straps here. You can pull this out. I'm going to hold it down just because the case is going to flop. There's not much weight in here. And then there's the bottom. Bottom's easier to come out too. Just kind of just easily pull that out and boom. You're good to go. My OCD kicking in. This is an awesome upgrade. Uh, the originals were awesome, but these, it just feels way more sturdy and protect my knives way better on our road trip down to Ohio tomorrow. If you guys are around the um, Rivers Edge Color area, Columbus, Ohio there, stop on by. I will be there with some, hang on, handing out some swag. And I think one of my friends told me there's probably five or six other youtubers i don't know if they're confirmed or not and i'm not going to mention who it is because it will be a surprise to whoever does join us out there i don't know if anybody else has mentioned they're coming yet but i am for sure going to be there so if you guys are in the columbus ohio area and anywhere near river's edge cutlery come stop by um, everybody will have their knives with them there's probably gonna be like a lot of knife enthusiasts showing their collections. This is just gonna be a small percentage of my stuff. Um, just gonna bring a couple things to show, but I'm not gonna like lay them out or anything. It's just, if anybody asks, I'll have it with me. Um, but this case is pretty sweet. Thank you again, Jeff. And if you guys want to get anything made, again, he is called Sliced Cutting and Engraving on Facebook or Instagram. Follow his page, like his page, like his pictures, and private message him to order anything you would like. He's an awesome dude, great to work with, and he's based out of Wisconsin. So, as well, support all the small businesses out there. Hopefully, we'll see you guys tomorrow at the Knife Meetup. If not, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.